Hello everybody, welcome to my series on how to create a Minecraft server. Today I will just be teaching you how to create the basic server. So first we're going to create a new folder. And you can name this folder anything you want. Um, you can put it anywhere, I'm just going to put it on my desktop and call it server. So let's go into this folder and it's completely empty so we're going to need to fill it with the basic um, bucket jar that's what it's called it's a uh, jar file so we're going to go to this first link um, it will be the first link in the description and you should download the latest recommended build but if that's not what version you want your server to be um, then you could go for the beta build and there are so many um, builds so you can find out which one suits your needs I would not re recommend getting the development build because it's very unstable and very buggy so I'm just going to download the recommended build and I'll hit keep and while we're waiting for that to download um, we are going to create a text document in our folder so let's go into new text document and name it run it really doesn't have to be anything um, special as you can name it uh, anything you want as long as you remember it um, that's all that we need so let's drag this uh, craft bucket 1.5.2 jar uh, this works with any version it's um, all the same the only thing that will change throughout this entire ser uh, series is the uh, different versions. So even if this is like 1.8, you can still download it, the beta or recommended build um, and put it in your server and that's what will run. So anyways, let's go into... Uh, the craft bucket jar that we got and delete everything that um, is not needed so everything but craft bucket is what you need to delete and rename it as so let's go into this run.txt and uh, this is a text editor editor called notepad plus plus you can use anything you want um, this is just my choice because I do a lot of uh, server plugin editing and it's very handy in editing plugins so in this text document we need to have a code um, so let's go into the second link in the description um, and this is the how to set up a server bucket wiki and we're going to go to Windows because that's what we have if you have Linux you have to do this and if you have Mac then you follow all these um, but it's the same on uh, every operating system except for the code so let's go into this and copy and paste this and then file save as and get rid of the txt and type bat so run dot bat like I said, it doesn't have to be run, it can be anything you want, but um, run is just for simplicity because this is a program and it will run cra this craft bucket. So we don't need um, this text file, so you can run the program and that you just copy and pasted the code to, and it will generate everything from the plugins folder, which has nothing in it right now, to ops. Um, which is the text file where you can opt people in uh, the whitelist which is um, a name of people that can join um, and yeah so it says preparing spawn and then done so once it says done type stop and then enter um, don't click the close button in the corner because it won't save anything um, you definitely want to type stop Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's go into the server.properties file. This is the main uh, file where you can edit 
lots of stuff about how your server works, like whether you want to allow the nether, um, or whether you want to spawn NPCs. And the thing that um, I'm worried about right now is the MOTD, which stands for message of the day. So I'm going to replace this with um, test server. I'll show you what this does in a bit. Uh, basically, it's the text that you see on your server list whenever you go into multiplayer. Um, let's change the max players to 25. And let's have everybody spawn in creative mode, which is game mode 1. Um, I'm going to put PvP to false here and yeah there we go so um whitelist so whitelist basically um like i was saying is there's a whitelist.txt and you can put usernames in there and only those usernames can join your server so i'm going to put this to true and hit save and then x out of that and i will go to the whitelist and put down my username and hit save and then I'll go into the ops um, and do the same thing and hit save so basically ops.txt any username that um, is considered op can do anything they want on your server um, from changing game mode to changing weather to changing game rules to anything really and yeah so um now that everything's generated we can run the server again so as long as this black uh box is open the server is open and people can join um so let's go into our minecraft um add server let's uh type so to connect to a server that you're hosting right now, we type local host um, without any spaces, and then you click done, and there we go. See, test server, zero out of 25 people online. So um, that's our server right now. Uh, it says that this number lost connection. That just means someone uh, has it on their server list. Um, yeah, so if we click join server, we will be on our server and see I spawned in creative mode and yeah, so this is our Minecraft server and nobody else can join because you have to do certain things uh, to allow other people to join. It's not, it's not too difficult, so... Um, don't worry and I will show you the show you how to do that in my future videos so I hope you learned something from this video if you did please leave me a like and I will uh, make sure to create more episodes so you know how to have other people join and play with you all right I'm Dollar Tora and I'll catch you guys in my next video see you later